This sounds so much better than stock. Let me give you guys a couple revs so you can hear it. How's it going guys? Thank you so much for joining me in this video. We're gonna put a cold air intake on the F-150 and we're gonna do some draggy runs uh, before and after just to see uh, if it makes anything of a difference. Now, if you didn't check it out, make sure to check out the uh, draggy runs with the Mach-E, that video is live. And so here we have the uh, F-150 with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. I have a K&N cold air intake. Hopefully I can install it correctly and it doesn't take six hours. Uh, but this uh, truck is bone stock, so I'm super excited to see if we get any sort of uh, time improvements from the cold air intake. So we're going to do some draggy runs before and after and just to see what kind of numbers we can get. Now let's get a shot, a final shot of the engine bay completely stock. I have no idea how to open this thing, so just bear with me. There you go. So here we have it, the uh, stock 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Thing is a beast. Um, but that is the stock air filter. We're gonna remove this whole thing. And uh, through, I am, I am a terrible mechanic, so um, I'm not gonna embarrass myself in front of you guys for the next uh, six hours. So through the magic of uh, YouTube editing, we're gonna have a brand new filter installed on this new cold air intake. Let's go. There we have it. This is the new filter all installed. I haven't even turned the engine on yet, so we'll see how it runs. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Um, all these clamps on there, everything looks good. Sensor is back where it's supposed to be. And uh, let's start her up and see how she sounds. All right, so now that you guys have heard it, let's take her for a spin. Let's do some draggy runs and see how it compares to stock without the cold air intake. Um, I'm not expecting too much gains, if any at all. Um, it's gonna sound way cooler, but we'll see what happens. Now let's go for a spin. It sounds so much better without the uh, turbo silencer fins on there and the cold air intake. I, I think it sounds amazing now. Let me give you guys a little, little clip there. Sounds fantastic, love it. There you guys have it before and after with draggy runs of the stock intake and the K&N aftermarket intake. Now, does it make a difference? Draggy says no. I mean, it was actually slower with the intake. Now we did take off those uh, turbo silencer fins. 
I don't think that's going to make a difference performance wise. Um, but I mean, it's a negligible difference, like 0 0.01 seconds. Um, not a big deal. I think the car sounds absolutely amazing and we're really going to be able to take advantage of that new larger intake. Once we get the car tuned, I feel like we're really going to see a little bit more horsepower over the stock intake once we get the car tuned. Um, but it sounds absolutely amazing without those uh, turbo silencer fins. I don't need that. I want to hear the turbo. It gets me excited every time I hear the turbo. And then with the uh, you know intake noise from the new air filter, I love the sound. So there you guys have it. That is the before and after of the K&N intake. I am super excited to keep doing things with this car, you know, constant projects. Make sure to stay tuned if you want to see the car get tuned. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is a cold air intake actually worth it? I think, I mean, for the noise alone, it sounds absolutely amazing. And like I said, if I weren't getting this car tuned, I would say probably not worth it. But I want to maximize that tune. So I think the uh, intake actually makes a difference. And they actually tell you like for example if you go to any of the uh, f-150 ecoboost tuners um most of them tell you to make sure to let them know whether you have an aftermarket intake on there now why would a tuning company tell you to let them know if you have an aftermarket intake if it didn't make a difference i think i think it does make a difference but like i said to take full advantage of that you got to get the car tuned, which we are going to be doing soon to this car. So make sure to stay tuned. And if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. And uh, make sure to subscribe. I'll uh, keep pumping out some more content. So if you like it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content. Thanks for watching.